So why do we consistently have these problems over the history of computing? At times, I, I kind of feel like we've been at this for a little while, but we're not solving any problems. But it's not for a lack of solutions. We have lots of solutions to our problems, everything from two-factor authentication to secure coding practices. We have standards. We have compliance. We have good crypto, depending on who you ask. But why aren't we able to effectively solve the problems in the security industry? And this is the problem that plagues me every day. And I like to think about it a little like this. If we think about medical science, in medical science, we have doctors who do cardiology. We have doctors who do neuroscience. We have doctors who like feet and doctors who like noses. And it's similar in the security industry. We are so specialized now that we have people who like cryptography and people who do authentication systems, people who like hardening, people who, who like hacking. And we often rarely specialize so narrowly that we only solve the problems right in front of us, rather than thinking of solving the problems holistically together. It would be sort of like designing a fish and never studying what its predator is. So forgetting to put scales on the outside for protection, or realizing that you have to balance salt levels and giving it a good liver, or that it has to diffuse oxygen out of the water so it needs to have gills. We have essentially built a fish that doesn't know how to swim and can't survive in the ocean. And I feel like that's what our computing systems are like. We build the authentication systems independent of the crypto. We build, auth we build crypto independent of thinking about how exploits work or how hackers work, our predators, if you will. And for this reason, I think we need to rethink the way we do security. We need to think about building security as a platform rather than as siloed solutions that exist independent of one another. And if you think about some of the advancements we are seeing in security and the advancements that users are really flocking to, they're being built in as part of the platform. The other analogy that I really like here is the car analogy. Okay? When you buy a car, at least today, it comes with seat belts, it comes with airbags, it comes with roll bars. You don't go to the aftermarket, look at five different kinds of seat belts, make a spreadsheet, evaluate all the options, the colors, the material, is it a three point, a two point? You just get a seat belt, and you get a seat belt that always works, and you get a seat belt you never have to think about. And I think that that is the idea. The car here is the platform, and all of the security that you need for the car is built into the platform. The other reason I think that we have not been able to successfully fix security is that we are not studying our past enough. And I was really surprised to find that there are more people here who have been in the security for a long time, uh, in the security field for a long time, rather than people who are new. But what I find at least is true with the engineering teams I work on is that often they have not looked backwards enough to realize that the problems they're solving have already been solved. And in some ways, they should heed the lessons of the past.